today is, well, it's a day when people are mowing lawns, but it's also a day of customer service. And on top of that, it's a day when nobody is gonna be making any money. That and more coming up. Good Mark TV morning. So here's my uh, first stop on my daily adventures with customer service. And uh, I'm here right now at Sterling Tire in Georgina, Ontario. Here's their website right here, sterlingtire.com. Check them out. So long story short, what happened was I needed to order some new wheels and tires for my car right here behind me. And the manufacturer of the wheels sent them the wrong ones and we, they put them on and the car doesn't handle right. So what these guys did is they're basically taking back taking back the rims. They're, they're taking them back. They're going to swap them out for new ones, put them on, no charge to me. And what's really cool is they're taking them back, even though I don't know if you can tell here, uh, I don't know if you can see, but they're, they're kind of scuffed up, but they're taking them back anyway. So the question is, are these guys making any money doing this? And the answer is no, they're not making a penny doing this, but have they got a customer for life? Yep. That's me. And if anyone asks me if I know of a good place to get tires, I'm sending them to these guys. So it goes to show there's, you know, sometimes it's not always about making money on the spot. It's kind of a long-term thing, building that relationship. So let's go see these guys in action. Got the new wheels on, the car looks great. Now it's off to our next stop on our customer service daily tour. Just found out I need to buy a garden hose. The garden hose at home has a hole in it. Uh, I have no clue what to get. PVC, rubber, uh, heavy duty, medium duty. I don't know, they all kind of look like hoses to me. Got my hose and uh, some other stuff. Hose right here. So now it's, uh, well it's my turn to show some customer service. So. Uh, I gotta get on the phone for that. All right, so I just spent about 45 minutes on the phone with a, uh, a client who's uh, consulted me or I guess brought me in to speak at their event in July. And um, I wanna know more about them, more about what they wanna do and all this kind of stuff. So I called her and uh, we spoke for like 45 minutes. I wanted to know everything I could to make my presentation as relevant as possible for them. And did I make any money for that? Absolutely not. Is it time I'll ever get back? Absolutely not. But you know what? It will result in me making a better and more relevant and more impactful presentation. And that in itself, well, you can't put a price on, on what I could get out of that. I mean, you know, I'm in a business, as I'm sure you are, where we are dependent on referrals and we're dependent on clients loving what we're doing. So, you know, I think it was time well spent. Anyway, uh, I'm on my third stop here in my customer service experience day, and uh, well, it involves a whole lot of food, which works for me. So this is a, a giant, humongous barbecue slash trade show uh, put on by one of my suppliers, and they spent a ton of money uh, feeding like a lot of people here, and they've got like this whole trade show thing going where you can see products, and they've brought in other suppliers and things like that. So. What's really cool is nothing here is for sale. It's just an opportunity for you to get to know the suppliers and the distributors and, and all that stuff. So it's really costing them money to do this. But again, you know what the whole theme of the show here, right? They've got my attention, they've captured it, they got me in, and of course, oh look at that, oh they got me in with food. Yeah, you know what, food helps. So this goes to show, you know what, if you can keep people in, get their attention, ideally feed them, you can, uh, you know, build and and further solidify that relationship. So, if you can excuse me, I gotta, I gotta get back to my burger here. So I am back home after my my customer service tour, and uh, you know, it got me thinking that it, it amazes me how many businesses don't kind of do that extra little something um, just to show you that they care. You know, it's all. It, it seems to be so often about how much money can I make doing this one thing and what can I do to avoid losing any money and or making as much as I can instead of saying hey you know what 
this could really strengthen my relationship with my customers or my clients. So I don't know, it's weird. I mean, you know, today um, I strengthen my relationship with um, uh, a client who I'm gonna be speaking for their conference next month. And also uh, my tire guy, look at that. Look at those nice new tires, aren't those awesome? Uh, he strengthened his relationship with me by going that extra mile and taking care of that for me. And as well, um, another one of my suppliers put on this great trade show for not just me, but a whole bunch of other people and fed us and had a big barbecue and all that stuff. And what he was able to do is strengthen his relationship with a whole bunch of people. And did anyone make any money today doing this? No, but I assure you, everybody in this story, myself included, is going to be making more money over the long term because of what they did today. So my advice to you is don't nickel and dime everything you do. Don't focus on how you can squeeze every penny out of every transaction or every minute of your day. Sometimes it's about just giving and understanding that it will come back. So with that, I'm Mark Gordon. You've been watching Mark TV. If you like what you see, click subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.